Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, coming to you today from PTC 2022. Joining me is Kim Ganelius, CCO and co-founder of Ficolo. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to be back here at PTC uh, in person. Um, Kim, could you could you tell us a little bit, just for our viewers who, who may not know, could you tell us a little bit about Ficolo? Sure. Thanks, Bob, for having us here. It's great to be here. Uh, so, FICO is the number two co-location data center player in Finland. He was founded 10 years ago. Our first data center was an underground network of tunnels, uh, which we acquired from uh, uh, the, the previous owners who had then acquired it from the defense forces. And they'd been using it as a, an ammunition and, and weapons storage place. So it's great for us because it's underground, it's, it's a stable environment, uh, it is a very cool environment, so we get great energy efficiency. And, uh, you know, the security is there because you have the, uh, the granite, uh, which, which is, you know, a billion years old granite, so it, it gives you a nice security feel to it. Uh, we have another data center in central Finland, and then we have uh, our kind of flagship data center in the air which is in the Helsinki region. And that one is a pretty big one. It could go up to 100 megawatts. So we are now actually the only um, climate neutral certified data center that's hyperscale capable in the Nordics. <laughs> well, and I understand that you've recently announced um, a new partnership with a, a global AI computing organization. Can you tell us a little bit about what makes Ficolo appealing to organizations like that or other hyperscale or high performance computing organizations? Sure, absolutely. So uh, this is a really great announcement from our side. It's uh, one of the top technology companies in the US. So uh, we've been successful previously locally and uh, we've also got a good uh, customer in, in Fujitsu in the air, which is a significant deployment. But this is really our first major uh, kind of US customer. So that's a, that's a big win for us. A big deal as, as we look more at the uh, US market. Obviously, there's a lot of opportunity here. So what they are looking for is um, the technology. Of course, they, they, they love the new technology we have. It's very flexible. Uh, so we talk about... Uh, uh, white space that you can actually build. Uh, it's multi-purpose white space where where the kind of the data center infra adapts to what kind of customers we have. There. So this is a very high density customer. So we can we can have low density customers and high density customers next to each other and then deploy as required for these guys. But they also uh, like quite a lot our shall we say attitude. So the way that we are able to serve them, be fast, respond to their questions. And then, uh, of course, the, the climate neutral part is something that's becoming more and more important. And they specifically stated that this is, this is one of the things that they really like about uh, us as a company. I understand also that climate neutrality is a very important part of your proposition as an organization. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. So, um, climate neutrality has been important to us from the start. Day one, we've been using only green energy, so wind power. Um, then we have implemented, on top of the rock data center, we've actually got a solar power plant, which is providing to us only. And additionally, uh, we implement heat reuse. So, uh, this is kind of a very nice uh, uh, green proposition because what we do is we buy 100% green energy and then uh, we feed that to the servers and the excess heat can be, be used to generate heat back into the district heating grid. So we're actually uh, replacing, shall we say, brown energy that is used by by the energy company. Yeah, so important. And I understand you've been recognized for that via various certifications and, and whatnot. Uh, that's correct. Um, so firstly, in 2013, there was um, a Greenpeace uh, 
Green Cloud initiative where they compared uh, different players and we were best rated there. Uh, two years ago, we raised Green Bond. So uh, in conjunction with that, you get, um, you get a second opinion. And this second opinion is from a climate research institute called Cicero. Uh, they've got graded, uh, shall we say, ratings for you. Uh, so it goes from light green, medium green to dark green. And we actually got the best dark green rating there. And uh, so far, uh, there's no other data center company uh, that has received the actual dark green rating for Green Bond. Wow. And then, in addition to that, last year we did the uh, actual certification. So, climate neutral certification with a third party, South Pole, which is uh, uh, a Swiss company that's been doing these for decades. And uh, that's a company-wide certification. So uh, it's not just for one data center, it's for all of the data centers. So so we can guarantee that if you do business with us, uh, that will be climate neutral. It's so impressive that you've been recognized in that way. And I think so important for our industry as it continues to grow. Can you talk about, so here we are, it's January, you know, start of a new year. What do you have in store? You know, what does Ficolo have in store for the the upcoming year and beyond? Sure. Uh, so the momentum is great. There's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, so uh, interesting stuff on the customer front. I I expect to see you know very important names coming up in our as our customers. And also to the point that we probably need to launch another site. So so looking at uh, eyeing other sites, shall we say? Uh, and and then uh, on the kind of corporate side, we're looking at uh, shall we say consolidation. So. Uh, maybe some M&A, uh, maybe sale and lease back, this kind of activity. And that, also, of course, you know, in our industry, leads back to the financing. So then, you know, right. there might be something that needs to be restructured there or something like that. Right. And then if, if we talk about the climate neutrality, um, so, so last year there was a lot of stuff, a uh, lot of initiatives, uh, industry-wide, thinking about how to get to climate neutral. So we're already there. So, mm -hmm. so we're thinking about the next steps. You know, how can we get to climate positive, uh, carbon negative, and which areas do we need to improve? Right. We're, we're operationally there already because we're we've got the positive hand, hand positive uh, handprint via uh, the heat reuse. But then we would like to be there across the the whole company and then be able to prove it with a third party certificate. Hmm. Yeah, I, it's so much to look forward to, right? New new builds potentially, acquisitions or M&A and and I mean as you said, you're already where a lot of uh, companies are aspiring to be and now you're looking to the next step. So how do you get even beyond, you know, the bar that exists um, for the industry? So congratulations to you on all that work that you're doing. And where can we send viewers to learn more? Well, uh, our YouTube channel is really great. So find Fickle on YouTube. And then, of course, you know, the website and other social media sites. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today, Kim. I really appreciate it. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.